For five months now, Pupun has been locked up in a cage where he lives in his own excrement. His family is sometimes too afraid to feed him. After he murdered his mother and mutilated her body, he was taken to a mental hospital. Four months later, he came back. They said he was cured, but after three months he became aggressive again. He injured the head of the village with a machete. His friend and I were also wounded. I'm worried if we will let him out again. Human Rights Watch has found that 57,000 mentally ill patients in Indonesia have been chained or confined to inhuman places. Families often see no other solution due to a lack of knowledge or money to seek medical care. Because of the lack of information about even what mental health conditions are, they have often superstitious beliefs that's caused because of a, of a curse or someone is possessed by evil spirits. And therefore, their only resort in their mind is to put someone pasung or lock them up in, in a room or lock them up in chains. The report also found those living in institutions or clinics don't fare any better. In this private institution near Jakarta, one psychologist visits once a week to treat 350 patients. The only medication they receive is herbal. Despite the ban on shackling, people are still being chained. We know Indonesia has banned shackling, but we use it only temporarily and so that the patients can still move. It's only for two to three days if they are getting emotional. We don't have enough space to put them somewhere safe. The government says since 2010, 8,600 patients have been freed from their chains. Often local community workers step in and persuade families to have them treated. 26-year-old Agus is one example. He was forced to live inside a hen house. When I was locked up in the shed, it was very dark. There was a bad smell and at night I could see animals coming. I was very scared. Human Rights Watch is urging the government to empower local community groups so more patients can be freed and taken care of. Indonesia struggles with a shortage of psychiatrists with only 800 for a population of 250 million. And while the government is urged to tackle these serious abuses, many say mental health needs to be a priority. They're calling for a nationwide campaign to teach Indonesians about this issue. We don't want any more cycling, but we are working to find a way local communities can deal with mentally ill patients who are living too far from mental health clinics. So we need to educate communities to take care of them in a more human way. While Pupun has yet to receive medical care, the recovery of Agus has taught his community that mentally ill patients need care, not cages. Stab Fasen, Al Jazeera, West Java.